Narcissists are known for playing with people's minds and emotions. Knowing what mind games narcissists use most often can be a helpful first step in combating this behaviour. So here are nine signs of the most common mind games narcissists play. Have you ever encountered a narcissist? Let us know down in the comments and if you've noticed some of these scary techniques that they have used. My name's Anna and stick around to the end of the video. In at number one, gaslighting. Narcissists are known for using gaslighting pretty much all the time. They'll lie, manipulate, deny, misrepresent and even twist your words so much that it makes you question your own reality. 2. Negative humour. Now this is when someone will use things jokingly and put you down by name calling, sarcasm, passive aggression. This is a way of eroding your confidence and self worth without directly being mean to you. 3. Projection. This involves shifting blame for things onto other people, such as you, for their own behaviour and their own actions. They never feel that they are ever, ever in the wrong. Number 4. Pretend ignorance. Narcissists, even though they may have caused the situation, will act as if they are equally shocked, confused <gasps> and hurt by the crazy things that have happened. And they will say that they had no idea how this could have happened. But in reality, it was all an act and they know full well what they have created. In at number five, we have passive aggressive behavior about past events. The narcissist will never let you live down past mistakes. Even if you just acted out of anger at one point, they'll keep bringing this past behavior up so that you feel guilty about it, bringing you more and more under their control. Number six, playing the victim. Narcissists will always try to play the victim rather than the person of blame in a situation. They will always spin their story around so that you feel bad for them to the point where you will dismiss whatever other people accuse them of. There's no way it could have been the narcissist who was in the wrong, right? 7. Silent Treatment this is used very often by narcissists. It's an easy way for them to make you start doubting yourself, the stability of the relationship and also your place in their life. It doesn't phase them. They will just stop talking to you in person. They won't text back. They won't interact on social media, blank you in person. It's all just a tool for them to use it against you. Number eight, very popular this one, constant criticism. You will always see this reenacted in movies and things. Whatever has been done or achieved by someone, they will let you know how they could have done it much better. And they will highlight the things that you couldn't have done. They are basically aiming to shift the focus back onto themselves. So they are always the center of attention. Number nine is childish throwing tantrums. They will cause a commotion and raise their voice all in an effort to give you a very negative impression about ever confronting them about anything ever in the future. They think that if they make a big enough fuss this time round, that you will think twice about questioning them or calling them out next time. Now this thing is very, very common when narcissists are called out for cheating on their partner. The narcissist will blow things up, start blaming the other person for their actions, deny things, and lastly, they will have a temper tantrum, possibly in public, to make it really awkward so that you're like, shh, calm down, it's fine, just get in the house, we'll work it out.